Welcome to my EE102 project. Uh, in this project, I made a simple object tracking system. The system consists of four parts. The camera module, two servo motors that are in a pan tilt configuration, our FPJ basis tree, and finally, the monitor that is connected via VGA. The camera is called OV7670 and it is a VGA camera that has a weaving angle of 25 degrees. The reason for not using a better camera is due to memory limitations of basis 3. The servo module consists of two cheap SG90 servos that has a laser diode glued on top. The laser combined with pan tilt servos makes it possible to aim at a moving object. The object tracking is performed using background subtraction algorithm. The, uh, the algorithm works like this. First, the grayscale data is acquired from the camera. Then, uh, we select a background frame using a switch on this tree. Then, it finds the difference between those two frames, the new frame and the background frame. And, uh, but by calculating all the change pixels and finding their uh, average, uh, it finds the, uh, where the middle point is on the screen. As you can see, it shows the middle points by uh, two white lines, and their cross section is the middle point. After that, uh, it maps the screen pixel data to the servo motors. Uh, to map that, uh, I uh, wrote a calibration step where uh, you set the uh, maximum and minimum uh, servo positions for the uh, uh, camera. Uh, after mapping, uh, it just uh, uh, aims at the uh, object that is uh, put in the uh, camera's uh, site. The computer isn't used at all in this project. Only the FPJ is used. Uh, all the work happens in FPJ, all the calculations happen in FPJ. Uh, and as you can see, the system successfully aims. The ideal laser location is shown on the monitor as the crossing point of the two lines. In reality, the laser may be off the mark up to 15 cm. This error is due to imprecise servo motors and distortion of the image due to camera's lens. The error can be minimized by a careful calibration. Uh, for example, when I put my hand, uh, it aims at my arm and uh, in the monitor we can also see the system also works very fast due to parallelization capability of the FPGA. The speed of the system is only bottleneck due to the speed of the camera and the motors. For future work, a higher quality camera with higher speed, wider weaving angles and higher resolution should be used for increased performance. To hold such amount of data, a better FPGA with more memory should be chosen. Instead of servo motors, stepper motors with micro-stepping capability should be used to get highest possible precision. Also for changing light conditions, an extra algorithm for updating the background frame is necessary. For the camera noise, it may be better to implement a Gaussian filter. Hard coding the calibration data may be also useful for a static camera and servo design. Thank you for watching.